And this is a great little tool that you can keep in your BMW at all times, so you always have a scan tool when you need it. And because it works over Bluetooth, it's quick and easy to set up and use with your smartphone. And as for its code reading functionality, well, it does work quite well. And it supports most of the control units found in many different models of BMW and Mini. Hey guys, and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, hello and welcome to the channel, and I hope you like today's video. If you like smart home and automotive technology content, then hit that subscribe button, because that's what you're going to see on this channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing this Ansel BD300 BMW OBD2 Bluetooth Diagnostic Scan Tool. At the moment, this is quite a common BMW Diagnostic Scan Tool that is available to purchase. So I thought this would be a great tool to review for BMW owners looking for a cheap diagnostic tool for their car, but wondering how good it really is. This little diagnostic tool will of course also work for Mini, and it's said to support most, but not all, BMW and Mini cars from 1996 right up to the latest models. Of course for some of the older models, for example an early E36 3 Series, you will need the 20 pin OBD to OBD2 adapter, which is not included with the tool, but the functionality is supported. And these adapters are very cheap and available to purchase from anywhere online. The car I will be using in this video to test this tool is this 2010 BMW X1 E84 N46 model. After testing out this tool now for about the last week, I would describe it as a good tool for beginners and simple DIY owners. It's a great little code reader that can read fault codes from most of the control units, but apart from code reading, it's not going to be able to get too technical. And as you may already know, if you are a BMW owner, these cars are loaded with technology. Of course, aside from its code reading, it can also help you out with a few other things as well, such as battery registration, throttle learning, EPB reset, and basic service information resetting as well. So if you work on and service your own BMW, then it should be okay to help you out with the very basics. In my opinion, it's a great tool to keep in your car at all times, so it's available when you need it. And because it's a tool that you can just plug into the OBD2 port of your car and use over a Bluetooth connection with your phone, it does make it very quick and easy to set up and use at any time. It does support Bluetooth 5.0 as well, and the actual performance of the tool is pretty good. The setup process is really quite easy. You just need to download and install the Ansel app, and once installed, the software detects the diagnostic tool and connects to it for you straight away. And so it's basically ready to use in just a few seconds. And the app is free to use with no fees or registration required, unlike a lot of other apps these days which require you to sign up and pay to use them. This tool also comes with lifetime updates, which are free, and all you need is a Wi-Fi connection to update it, so no laptop or PC is required. Of course, it's iPhone and Android supported, and if you want to use it on a bigger screen, it can of course be installed on a tablet as well, but it can only be used on one device at a time. It's a nice slim and compact design, so it can easily fit inside your pocket and be carried around with you anywhere. And it also comes with this little carry pouch as well. Now technically speaking, while it's mainly designed for BMW, it does also apparently support engine OBD2 code reading as well for other makes and models, although I have not tested this out on any other vehicles. And for this review, I will not be doing that as I'm only concentrating on its main usage, which is for BMW. So now I'm going to give you a quick demonstration of what it can do on this BMW X1 so you can see exactly how it works. Okay, so once you have a connection between the diagnostic tool and your car, you are going to want to start off by tapping on Diagnostics, and then choosing the model of your BMW. So of course mine is an X1, so BMW, X Series, X1, E84. And now to scan the vehicle for any fault codes, you can select System Scan at the top here, which will automatically scan every single control unit in the vehicle for you, or you can select Manual Select, which gives you the option to select a specific control unit and scan only that one control unit alone. And this is the way I prefer to scan the car, is really do you want to scan things like the telematic system, trader modules, amplifiers, etc. So doing a full system scan can be too time consuming. So I'll select engine control module. And to scan the ECU, you just tap on read fault codes. 
And as you can see, it's detected two fault codes in my engine ECU. And that's correct because I'm always pulling my car apart in a million pieces and hacking around with it. So those two fault codes make perfect sense to me and they're correct. Now of course, just like all scan tools, it does also support real-time data streaming as well. So for example, if I tap on read data stream and then I tap on voltage supply, it tells me that my car battery voltage is 12.34 volts. Now if I start the car, that battery voltage is of course going to climb higher. And you can data stream from any of the control units of the car as well, not just the engine ECU. So that's an example of how the basic fault code reading and data streaming works. Now if we go back to the main menu, we see special functions. And tapping on that shows us CBS Reset. CBS stands for Condition Based Service. And this function is used for resetting the service maintenance schedule of your BMW. EPB electronic parking brake. This function is used for servicing the brakes when replacing the brake pads. The car also requires confirmation you have done this. And the later model BMWs also have electronic brake calipers. So you require a diagnostic tool to open and close them. Battery management. This function is used for battery registration. For at least a couple of decades now, replacing the battery in your BMW is not just plug and play. It needs to be registered to your BMW through diagnostics as well. And lastly, ETC reset. This stands for electronic throttle control. When carrying out any work on the throttle system, for example, removing and cleaning a throttle body, this will throw out the alignment between the throttle body and the ECU. So this function is used to relearn and align them again for you. And another useful option in this app to solve a problem is the DTC lookup. So we'll go into that. You can enter any fault code in here and it can interpret it and give you some clues of where to start looking for the problem. So for example, if I enter in P0012 and then I click on search, as you can see, it tells you what the fault code is. A camshaft position timing over retarded bank one and under background it gives you a whole lot of things that the problem could actually be. And lastly, of course, another useful feature in the app is the help manual. We'll just go into that and have a quick look. Choose NCEL BD300. And it looks like it's got a whole bunch of stuff in there as well. Telling you all about the special functions and how to use the diagnostic tool overall. Okay, and that pretty much covers what the basics of the scan tool can do for you and your BMW. And if you're just a beginner and the thought of using a diagnostic tool on your BMW makes you nervous, then as you have seen, it's pretty easy to use and you can't really do any damage to the car by using it. For the more advanced scan tools with more advanced diagnostic procedures, they do require you to connect the battery charger to your vehicle before proceeding further. And while I am not going to go into any of that in this video, I do however strongly advise that you do connect the battery charger to the vehicle when doing any programming or coding. Because if you don't, it can and usually does go very horribly wrong. And when it does, it can cost a lot of money to repair. And unfortunately, this Ansel BD300 tool will very unlikely be able to fix it for you. Okay guys, and that brings us to the end of another video. And that's how this Ansel BD300 OBD2 Bluetooth Diagnostic Scan Tool for BMW works. If you've seen this tool online before and were thinking about getting one for your BMW, then hopefully this video has helped to answer any questions that you may have had about the tool. As you have seen, the performance of this tool is nice and quick, and that makes it an enjoyable tool to use. As far as code reading goes, I actually do quite like this tool. I paid about $70 for it. And for that price, and comparing it to other diagnostic tools around that same price, I personally expected a little bit more from this tool. But to be fair, the app is free to use, and the updates are also free, so that makes the price more reasonable. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or found it helpful in any way, please do like, share and subscribe to the channel, where you can watch even more videos, which I upload every week. And I hope to see you all in the next video.